Hi everyone, Derek. Nano Audio Taylor 2021 Prado. A warning message comes up on the multi information display for pre collision unavailable clean sensor. It's not happening for us at the moment. However, looking at the vehicle control history, code X2026 front radar sensor dirt. This code locked at key cycle 6327. We are now at key cycle 6332. So this occurred recently. So what do you do when you see a warning message come up on the multi-information display asking you to clean the sensor? Well, logically, you would come up to the front of the car and clean the Toyota badge. So looking at this one, it's got a bit of dirt on it. However, that's not enough to cause the issue. The issue is right here, spiderwebs. And you need to look a bit further behind the grill, right in there that's what the real problem is so let's remove this upper cover to get a closer look so to release these clips there are 13 clips push the center of the clip downwards and you can pull up on the cover to remove the clip and of course if you are going to be refitting those clips later on grab the outside of the clip Place it on a hard surface and push downwards so the center portion pops up. Insert it back in its location and then push the center portion of the clip down so it is flush with the outer section of the clip. All right, so what can we see in there? Goodness me, look at that. That's probably the worst one I've seen. That is a lot of cobwebs. So we'll clean that all up. And the problem is that I can see some cobwebs between the sensor and the badge as well. So uh, worst case scenario, we'll have to remove either the badge or the sensor to clean everything up properly. Okay, gonna give this a thorough clean out. So let me just quickly have a look at what's going to be easier to take out. Is it going to be the badge? I think so. Or is it going to be the sensor? No, I would suggest the badge is going to be easier. We can just leave the sensor in position and avoid disturbing the whole setup. The badge is held together with three screws. There's one screw there, one screw there, and one screw there. And there are also four clips that need to be disengaged one clip there one on the other side this clip here and two on top so one there and one there i'll do that right now and uh, i'm uh, interested to see what surprises await me okay everyone i've removed the three screws and i've unclipped the four clips and let's see what awaits us behind this badge Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting cobwebs, but uh, certainly this is a surprise. So, I don't know what spider it is, but I don't really want to know. I just want to know whether it's alive. And if it's alive, I'd like to relocate it to a different location. I don't want to kill it. So I'll grab a stick and I'll see if I can persuade it to find itself a different home. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, mate, work with me here. Maybe somebody will know what type of spider it is. Don't go behind, don't go in there. Come on, oh dear, there you go. Come on. There it is. What is that? Anyone know what spider that is? 
or it's gotten in there in the crevice, well that's okay. As long as it doesn't bite me. I think the job's done. He's agreed to move and find a different location. So what's left now is just to clean the, up this area and reinstall the badge. One thing I did notice, and that's my mistake, so I do apologize. It's been a while since I've removed one of these badges. The badge is only held in position with one screw, which is that screw there, and obviously the four clips. One, two, three, and four. And this is what the clips look like. So when you go and release them, you've basically just got to push down on this release tab and that will detach the clip from its location. And then the single screw locates into this part of the badge. Grab a wet rag and clean the sensor thoroughly. And then reinstall the badge. Obviously also give the badge a bit of a clean if it's dirty. And reinstall the upper cover and job's done. Thanks very much for watching everyone.